Well, I have gotten myself into a fine mess now, haven't I? Trapped in this room with no way of escape. But what are these mysterious red blocks? They bounce me? Awesome. Oh, okay. Hello viewers, this is Coda here. I am a Minecraft Command Block Systems Engineer and I have something pretty special to show you today. Bouncy blocks in vanilla Minecraft 1.9. Let's take a look. I'll give you another look in third person. Pretty amazing. Now I know what you guys are thinking. There are already bouncy blocks in Minecraft. Slime blocks. Now that's true, but there are a few major advantages that this type of bouncy block has over the slime block. Firstly, the slime block has to be activated to bounce players horizontally, which means it takes up more space and more redstone. Secondly, these bouncy blocks can be disguised as any type of block at all. They don't have to be red stained clay, they could be gold ore, they could be bedrock, they could be soul sand. Slightly strange choices I'll admit, but you get the idea. The third advantage is that these blocks can be configurable in how much they bounce the player. At the moment I have 10 shulkers inside each of these blocks, but if I press the button a few more times, Fifteen shulkers inside there. Now I'll get bounced back even further. So, how do these bouncy blocks work? Well, in a fairly recent Minecraft snapshot for 1.9, player collision was added back in. This used to be a thing back in 1.3, a long time ago, but then it was removed. And now, it has made a fantastic comeback. Notice that when we walk into this villager here, he pushes us away. Now, when there's only one villager here, we can still walk through him. But, if we pile on a few villagers in exactly the same spot, and then try to walk through, we get pushed away with quite a bit of force. So, the more tightly packed your entities are, the more force they will push the player away with. Until finally... They're bouncing right off. This is 20 villagers here, all repelling me at the same time, sending me flying backwards. And I've applied the same concept to these walls here, but instead of using villagers, I've used shulkers. I've used shulkers because they're the same size, or almost exactly the same size, as a block. I've had to turn their AI off because otherwise they peek out of their shell. Shulkers also push the player away, like all the entities, and they can be made invisible, so I've hidden them inside these blocks, and I have ten hidden inside each of these blocks, so when the player hits them, they get repelled with a lot of force. These command blocks here summon the shulkers that go inside this bouncy wall inside that room. Now, the way this works is they summon a shulker that's invisible, that has no AI, and that has the bouncy block tag. It's a very simple command, you know, if you're experienced with commands. There's not a lot of tags that need to be created. There's not a lot of entity tags, that is, that need to be set. This command block here kills them. I have ten shulkers inside each of these, which provide the bounce. Now, I think we can all agree that these villagers have a severe case of personal space. But, this is Minecraft, and villagers don't deserve personal space. We want to just walk right through them. So let's turn it off. For this, we need a scoreboard team. We'll call it No Collision. 
and we need to set an option for this team for the collision rule we need to set this rule to never and then join the team now we can walk through any entity we won't get bounced by these walls and we can get in these villagers heads but what if we only want to walk through these villages and still want to be repelled by the other ones? Well, then we add these villages to the team and remove ourselves. I've already removed myself from the school board team, so we'll go ahead and add the villages. School board teams join no collision, and we'll target the nearest 10 villages. They are now on the no collision team, which means we can walk right through them, but still be repelled by these villagers and this villager and the bouncy blocks. There are many other ways in which this concept can be used, like for instance, my circle of party here. I can't dance, so I built a machine to do it for me. Pretty good stuff. Having a lot of fun here. Party, party, party. But that's only one thing that I've thought of. There are many other ways in which this could be used, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can create with this. Well, that brings me to about the end of my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.